Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. My name is Brent Foster. Today we're going to be playing Rocket League. Every Tuesday we play Rocket League. It's called Rocket League Today. And we talk about different things that come to my mind. Okay. Uh, let's go to... This sounds pretty good. <clears throat> okay, um, it has been announced that a Nintendo Direct is going to be tomorrow. And that's super exciting. I am so looking forward to this Nintendo Direct. It's been, how long has it been? It's been about four or five months since we've had our last Nintendo Direct. So, I'm going to this. I'm hoping for a great direct. But I'm keeping my expectations really low. And I suggest everybody else do the same because, you know, you could be disappointed. I also want to give my predictions for what I think will be in this Nintendo Direct. I just got a couple things I want to talk about. First of all, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing has already been announced for the Nintendo Switch. It was through a Smash Brothers Direct. <clears throat> they announced it was coming, but they haven't shown any gameplay footage. I think we could get some gameplay footage of it. The last Animal Crossing we had was for the 3DS, and it was really a great experience. You, you were the mayor, and you can do things that you couldn't do as just being a villager in the town, like you could before. You could like build projects. I think they could really expand upon the mayor idea and do some really cool things. So yeah, I think um, that game will be there. <clears throat> My next game is, um, I think that could be there is Metroid Prime Trilogy HD. And the reason I'm saying that is because Metro Prime 4 has just been talked about that they have went back to the drawing board basically and put it into the hands of Retro again, the original developers of the Metro Prime series. And I think that's a very good thing. And very disappointing to a lot of fans. So I believe that Metro Prime Trilogy could be announced as kind of like a band-aid. It would be very, it would be a very good idea, I think. And Metroid fans have been wanting a Metroid game for a while. I think it will have um, maybe some reworked tex textures. Um, it could be using the Unreal Engine 4. Um, it could be doing a lot of things that the Metroid Prime trilogy hasn't done before. Um, it could have bonus things in it, maybe bonus content. I don't want a direct port of the Wii Metroid Prime Trilogy. That's why I'm saying this. I want something that is prettier, nicer looking. And overall, it would cost more, but it would be a worthwhile investment. Plus, it's already been rumored that it's already done. It's been sitting done for a while. So, you know, they could announce that coming very soon. <clears throat> and my last subject is one that I personally want. Well, I personally want a Metroid, but I also really, really want this. As any of you already know, the online service hasn't been the greatest thing like Nintendo thought it would be. And it's been very lackluster. And I think Nintendo needs to improve on it a lot. And I think the first steps you'll see in that is introducing NES games to the online service. I believe at first that they will probably do about 10 titles, but now after hearing about the leak and knowing that SNES games are in the files of the eShop, I don't know if we'll get 10 games. Maybe we could get five. Maybe we get two, maybe one, I don't know. My personal hope is Super Mario World will 
be announced first. It could benefit very much from online play. You know, being able to play with somebody else online. Flying around as Mario would be really cool. As multiplayer. Um, Super Metroid is another one they could announce. I really like the Metroid series, so I think Super Metroid is possible. Maybe they can announce F-Zero for SNES. Um, when I, in the Game Boy Advance there, I really enjoyed that game, and I really would like to have that for the Super NES. Um, what else could they announce? There's a lot. I think Contra's in there. They have Castlevania that they could announce. Uh, Super Castlevania. You know, there are a ton of Super NES games that they can check out. Oh, Mar Mario Kart. They could bring back Mario Kart. Um, yeah, I think that would improve the service a lot and get people hyped up for the service a little bit more. I'm hoping for other game systems to be announced in the future, but Super NES games will do for now, I think. Personally, I would like them to add achievements. I think that would be really cool when I heard the Xbox Live service was going to be incorporated into the Switch somehow, and it's rumored. So, maybe we'll see something come out of that. That would be really awesome. Um, there's also another one I want to add. I used to do only three things, but I'm going to add this one. Um, Spyro Ignited Trilogy. It's been rumored to be coming out this year for Nintendo Switch, and I, I, I'm i so excited for this game. I can't wait to see this game. I played it. A demo of it on the PS4 and it looked really pretty and really good looking and really nice nice animated so yeah I'd like to see that finally announced because we know it's already coming it's been leaked and it makes sense because uh, Crash Bandicoot Trilogy is already on the Switch so this makes sense let's see the director is tomorrow, it's going to be at 2 p.m. And everybody that's going to be watching, it's on at 2 p.m. They said mainly it's mostly going to be Fire Emblem, Three Houses gameplay, you know, talking about it and stuff. So I'm expecting 10 or 15 minutes of talk about that. And then, you know, it does say other Switch games can, is, are going to be announced too. Upcoming is what it says, so... We'll see what happens. Um, well, that's the video. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.